Good morning, fam. This is your Rise and Shine Morning Essential Floss. Let's start on our mat like we usually do. Elbows underneath your shoulders, knees wider than your hips. Pull your elbows back so you feel engaged underneath your armpit into your upper back. Relax yourself forward. Nose to start over your fingertips and as you sit yourself back, feel free to tuck your toes as you pull and slide your elbows on the mat towards your knees. Your elbows won't move, but you have this feeling like the elbows are gonna kiss your knees. Good. Play with where your nose is pointing. So looking forward or looking underneath your collarbone. And let's take three more. Let your pelvis widen start to connect down to the floor. Notice your breath. Notice where you are in time and space. Very nice. Now bring your forearms together so that they kiss. Palms to the sky. Again, knees can be wider than hips. Puff your back up so you're pulling your heart towards the spine. And as you puff your back and plug your hands down, rock yourself side to side. Slowly waking up the shoulder girdle, finding the fascia and the tissue behind the scapula, the shoulder blades, feeling into the rhomboid space, the muscle groups between your spine and your shoulder blades. Gently opening the ear, you can look right and left as you come down to the floor. Keep plugging down with your forearms to engage the tissue. Stay engaged with the tissue so you can create the change. Nice and easy, your ears are starting to widen, feeling like there's some space in your head. Very nice, come back to center, pop your hands underneath your shoulders, and then walk them underneath your belly button. Flip your palms if you can, soften through your elbows and then pull your belly to spine, curl yourself in. Feel like your hands are gonna swoop forward on your mat. And then keep plugging your fingertips down as you puff your heart up and back. As you roll yourself back, slowly peeling one knuckle at a time off of your mat. Shake it out, sit up tall for a minute, and then take a downward dog to walk it all out. Walking your heels, walking through your shoulders if you want, any kind of fluid movement, organic movement that you desire. Beautifully done. A couple more moments here, noticing your breath. Good, and then let's pop our left leg forward to start today. If you have some blocks, now's the time to grab them, a hand before you. Give yourself a little bit of height as you work through this posture. So your heel is gonna feel like it's sliding back on the mat, like you're trying to kick it towards your bum. Keep that feeling of the heel sliding back and then pop yourself into a PE stretch. Relax to come forward, we're gonna pulse that. So the engagement is the heel sliding back. The movement is moving towards PE stretch. Don't hang out there, but pulse it so we can get our circulation to crank up, get our lymph flowing, and get some blood to this area. It tends to get quite stiff, right? Most of us have very tight hamstrings, and if we don't have tight hamstrings, maybe we have hypermobile hamstrings. Either way, we can benefit from changing the tissue, hopefully making it more healthy as we gently internally exfoliate the hamstrings. As the hamstrings become more elastic, pliable, and truly flexible, it'll help how our spine sets up, how our pelvis sets up, and hopefully we'll be just feeling more comfortable overall. Let's go for four more pulses here. Adjust your blocks always to be in the place that feels comfortable for you. This is our last two. You can juice them up, the last couple. Very nice. And then set your blocks aside for a moment or your fake blocks, like I'm using books today. 
Send your left leg straight out to the side, straight out to the side. Pull your rib cage up into the shape and then feel like your legs are gonna squeegee together. So you're really hugging into the adductors here. Keep hugging into the adductors and slide your booty back. Relax yourself to come forward. Keep squeezing in. As you squeeze in with your inner thighs, you'll be engaging what in Chinese medicine they associate with the liver. This will be the channel of energy where the liver energy runs. And so it's a good thing to wake up in the morning, wouldn't you say? <laughs> I often press a point, liver three in the morning between my first and second metatarsal. That's to help release any excess in the body. A good thing to do in the morning. We can play with that later. Let's go for three more, please. Noticing the pelvic floor, feeling the top of the groin, noticing if the adductor is tight near the knee or up by the pelvis. Good, and then you're gonna tuck your right toes under if they're not tucked already. Send your left leg up and back, one leg dog. Find your rib cage, pull them into the shape, bend your elbows slightly and let your head go. Keep plugging especially through your left hand. You can bend the knee and open the hip if you're ready for that. We're gonna swoop the same leg forward, come into your pigeon pose. As you adjust your back leg back, Make sure that you don't come down onto the floor, but stay up a little bit in your pigeon so that you have some space between your bum and the ground. Plug down with your front knee. That's your engagement here. Keep plugging down and then dip your heart forward. Fingertips can come to earth or fingertips can come interlaced behind or grab your block. Pop your blocks on either side of your shoulders and then dip yourself down. Your front knee, remember, is plugging into the earth so that you have that nice activation in the fascia on the outside of the left hip. You're almost there. Let's try three more. You can peekaboo your heart over to the left. Come on up. And then dipping yourself down. Maybe add that twist again. Very nice, that's all on this side. Excellent work. Plant your hands, tuck your back toes, it's downward dog, one more time. Feel free to lift the leg up and open the hip as you like. Good, walking through your heels, let's take tiny walks to our hands. This will be our first forward bend. Again, you can have your blocks here. They're handy, let your head go. Plug your hands down wherever they are. Hold on to the back of your calves. Noticing between one leg and the other. Knees are always soft, please, to protect your joints. And then when you're ready, plug down a little bit more with your legs, soften through your knees and peel up through your spine to stand. First standing moment of the day. Grab your right wrist, please. Grab your right wrist, bring it over your head and then pull yourself into a side bend as you plug your right heel into the ground. You can't see me, but trust yourself. You're rocking yourself over to the left and plugging your right heel down. Release, come back to center. Release your arms to your side and pull your nose towards your heart. Peel yourself back down to the ground. Beautifully done. Plug your hands, bend your knees, step yourself out to a plank. Soften through your elbows, look forward, draw your collarbones wide and down. Pull your pubic bone under just a smidge and then bend your knees to hover. You got it. You got it. Rock yourself forward and back. Feel free to play into the Achilles a little bit here as you plug your toes down into the ground. Hands are wide, palms are broad. And then we'll add a twist. Add a little twist as you go here. Squat twist just to get your blood going right this morning. A little bit rotation, a little nice little stretch in the lower back. And we'll go for three and two and one. And we have to do one more to be even because she's a great counter. And then slowly bring your knees to the floor. Very nice, rock yourself back into a child's pose. 
Take a nice big inhale, let your forehead soften. And exhale, release through your mouth. Getting ready for that day, right? Come on up. Tuck your toes, downward dog, right leg up and back, please. Swoop it forward, step into your low lunge for your second side, grabbing your blocks if you like. Pull your heel back, keep pulling your heel back and then sit yourself back, you got it. Beautifully done, pulsing that out. This stretch is said to bring our energy inward. So if you want to take a little quiet moment for yourself right now, setting yourself up for your day. You have about six more, here we go. Staying with the back of your leg, pulling your heel back towards your back knee. Stay connected to that tissue so that you can change it inch by inch, layer by layer. Last three. Very nice. Set your blocks aside for a moment and send your right leg straight out to the right, straight out to the right. I'm gonna turn myself this way so you have a different view of it. Squeeze your adductors together like you mean it. Feel like you're squeezing your right foot in towards the midline and then sit your booty back. You got it, very nicely done. Keep squeezing in as you squeeze your adductors together. You're gently flossing this line here. Very well done. Let's go for a couple more. Again, allowing the groin space to open, the pelvic floor. Imagine that your sit bones could get a little wide here. Spreading out, making some space for the energy to circulate. Watch your collarbones, watch your rib cage. Make sure you're not sinking, but you're still supported here always soft soft in your elbows no locked joints for us that'll help our energy circulate as well let's go for three that's two beautifully done plant your hands tuck your left toes if they're not already send your right leg up and back one legged dog good open the knee if you want happy dog it plug down through your right hand Feel the right psoas stretch. If you can, engage your psoas by squeezing the right abs as your knee goes up and back. That'll act as a safety mechanism and floss the psoas at the same time. Swoop your leg forward, it's pigeon, please. Bring your knee down to the ground, release your back toes. Plug down with your front leg like you mean it and feel that right abductor. <laughs> abductor so to abduct to go out to the side that it's nice and active plugging down with your front knee is going to light up that right hip flossing the outside of the girdle will help decompress the pelvis let's go for a couple more i hope this brings you nice stable legs we have four more we added a peekaboo on the first side, so if you'd like to take that twist, go ahead. And last one. Very nice. Tuck your back toes. Send your right leg up and back. Happy it out. Shake it out. Circle it out. Anything that feels good to you. Release your leg down when you're ready. And then small walks to your hands, please. Small walks to your hands. Good, nice and soft through your knees. Shake your head out. Blocks can be handy right here. Plug your hands down into the ground or into your calves. Feel like you're kicking your heels backwards as you pull your hands forward and feel that connectivity. See if you can keep the stretch in the belly of the hamstring and out of your lower back. Good, you have three more breaths here. Hang out, activate, stay engaged. Move your shoulders up towards your rib cage. 
you got it. Last breath here, you can. Good, and then slowly stack your belly as you stack your spine, abs are engaged, rolling yourself up, standing strong. Beautiful, grab your left wrist, please. Bring your arms above your head. Pull yourself over into a right side bend as you plug your left heel into the ground. So you're leaning over to your right, but you're plugging your left heel down, activating your whole side chain of fascia. As if your hands were gonna split in two, feel active there as well. Good, and then pull yourself back up to center. This time, interlace your hands behind your head. You're staying standing, I'm coming down so you can see me. Hands pull forward, head pulls backwards, opening and broadening the collarbones. You're still standing. Little mini back bend in the shelf of the shoulder girdle. Press your head back, widen through your elbows, last inhale. Keep your head pressing backwards as your hands pull you forward gently. Curl and roll down, nice and slow, all the way to the ground. Nice and slow. Good, stay there, plant your feet a little bit more, press your head into your hands and your hands forward into your head, and then release, shake it out. Shake it out, shake it out. Cool, bring your knees down onto the mat, please. Let's grab your pillow or your blanket to sit up on. We'll take some small intestine pulses here. We gotta get a little fire going this morning for ourselves. Plug your hands together, push your elbows out wide. Keep pushing out with your elbows and then use your knees to press your elbows together. Inhale to sit up tall. Press elbows out, pushing hands together. We'll take 10 pulses here. If you need to, you can do this floating without your knees. So you can do this up here. If you feel like the contact between your elbows and knees aren't quite working, you can also sit up a little bit higher than I am. Let's go for our couple more. If you want, pull your sternum back into the rib cage. So you just take a curve shape as you move yourself back. Yes, inhale to lift up and exhale to press yourself back and in, belly is going into spine. Yes, very nice. This is your last four. We can take it a little quicker and two. Whoa, and three, she's all over the place. And one, very nice. Bring your hands behind yourself. Walk your uh, booty forward a little bit. You can stay on your blanket. I just want you to see this clearly. Hands pull forward against the mat. So you're active in pec minor here. Keep active in the front of the chest and then lift your heart up and open. Flossing in the front of the shoulder head, soften yourself down. If you have rotator cuff stuff going on, you're taking this nice and slow. Good, lifting yourself up and then exhaling down. If you wanna add on, legs can come into a cross shape here. Keep pulling your belly to spine as you pull your hands forward, lift the sternum. The next round, you might lift your pelvis up, a little hip flexor opener as you lift up. Good, let's take one more on this side. You can also take a full reverse plank if you want that option this morning. Other leg crosses in front, pull your hands forward, puff your heart, puff your chest. You have two more to lift up if that's your groove. Pulling the hands forward the whole time, lifting the heart to the sky and softening down. Make sure that this is primary here, the hand sliding forward. That's first, this is second. If you can't maintain the slide forward, then you just start again. Good, relax yourself down, very nice. Let's get our quad into gear. I do have my earth energy pants on. I have the seam here tracking my earth channel. So I really feel like this is a good thing to do in the morning to get our digestion awoken. Let's kick up with our left foot. My hands are behind my left knee pit, if you can see that. My right foot's coming on top of my left foot. My left foot's kicking up the whole time, resisting to the sky as my right foot plugs me down. Good, here we go again. Let's take a couple of those. Working on our stomach energy channel or one of the earth energy channels. Earth is all about how we digest 
how we digest energetically and physiologically, right? The actual digestion and the energetic digestion. How are we processing life? Good. Also, our way that we feel connected is when our earth energy is activated. We often feel um, more supported by community. So we're just taking a look at that feeling in the body as you work your quad, you could get a little bit hot, a little bit feisty, stay with it. We've got a few more, feel free to change the angle. Like I like to drag my legs towards the midline. That'll get my more lateral quad, which I need a lot because I've been running more often during this quarantine life. Running, running, running. And then you can take it wide to the side with your feet getting the more medial quad. That'll get into that uh, second layer quad there. Oh yeah, I'm feeling it. Okay, very nicely done. Cool, after we do stomach, we have to do spleen, bend your heel, kick down into your groin, feel like your pelvis is dropping into the ground and pull your heel up into half happy baby. Relax your heel back down, keep kicking down, Feel nice and active in your medial hamstring as you lift yourself up. Let's go for two more here. Oh yeah. Very nicely done. Using this seam to help me track my stretch all down my inner leg. Yes. And very nice. Cool. Let's take a couple slice and dices because it feels good. And it's fun. A great way to wake up. Rocking through your spine up and back and up and back very nice let's take one more here good and then switch which leg you have going on grabbing behind your right knee pit kick up to the sky with your right foot left foot comes on top keep kicking up to the sky and then smush your foot down relax to come up and then keep kicking up as you press your heel down to the ground Good, a couple more please to work the quad on the second side. Mm -hmm. You've got it, very nice. Keep breathing through this. Even if the sensation is very strong, you're almost there. We'll take it wide here, bringing your feet over to the right side. So we're going medial quad first on this side, I guess. <laughs> Let's go for three more. And two, you can take up the pace a little bit. And one, cross the body over the midline for three. And two. And one, we'll take two more on this side. We can do it, I lied, I'm adding on. Excellent work, excellent work. Last one, last one. You got it. Cool, bring that leg into a half happy baby. You can bring your left hand to your hamstring so you can feel it. Kick your heel down, keep kicking your heel down and pull yourself up to a half happy baby. Relax, so the activation here is heel towards the groin. Keep kicking down with your heels, you lift yourself up. Let's go for three more. And two, you've got it, feeling through that spleen channel here lifting the energy up through this yin energy channel. Last one, very good. Hands behind your knee pit, slice and dice to rock yourself up and back. Very good, last one please. You're gonna rock yourself all the way into a downward dog this time, check it out, see how you feel. Notice any changes in your bod. Soften through your collarbones and release through your heels. Good, and then take those small walks again. Come to standing. Stand up nice and tall, soften through your knees, plant through your feet, open your palms. Take a nice big inhale through your sternum and exhale, release. And that is your morning wake up call. I hope you enjoyed that floss. Have a fab day. I'm gonna stick around here and show you that liver point if you'd like it.
Otherwise, we'll catch you next time. So liver three, we love this point. You find it between your first and second metatarsal, and then there's a little triangle of the bones here, and then you'll just plug into a pinch. I like to take my feet into a cobbler, and I do two fingers on that little pinchy space, and then pull your knees into a soft cobbler shape, and then hold that point. It's such a great point. I'm gonna show you one more time. So we have the V of the two first metatarsals, and then right in between there, there's some soft tissue. Feel around until you find it. And it's quite delightful to do in the morning. It'll kind of whoosh, wake up the liver, ask it to release any excess, and try it for about a minute. And see what happens if you practice that on a regular basis. I hope you have a super day. Bye team.